everyone, um, today I've got an exciting video for you all. I'm now part of the YouTube Artist Collective over on Facebook and it consists of me, Bailey, Sakoems, Lemia Crescent, Sluggy, Zyra Vanyas and Art by Karen e. Haley. That's everyone I think. <laughs> yeah, it was four artists at first and then it's expanded, there's three more of us now? that's seven total right yeah so we um what we do is we draw a picture based on um a theme that you guys choose on the facebook page and it comes out every two months and then we sell off the original piece so um obviously this piece is for sale in my online store so if you'd like to check that out uh, i'm selling it online um and i probably will make prints of this but later in the year so um, it's not going to be an immediate thing for prints but yeah so um, the theme this month was oh wait before I talk about the theme um, just to let you know there is there is a second person in the room we have uh, Maxi hello uh, I'll be chiming in now and then but I don't want to like steal the limelight or anything so I'll be quiet <laughs> <laughs> um, no you don't have to be quiet um, but yeah, Maxie's here in the room as well, so uh, in case you hear two voices, it's not just me. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny talking to herself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and yeah, the theme this month was um, mythological creatures and or folklore. And I saw the word folklore and I just immediately thought of like yokai and Japanese folklore, which is something that I research and study quite a lot. And I decided to then expand on yokai into Shintoism, which is a sort of, it is a religion, but it's also more of a lifestyle religion um, that originated in Japan. And it's a very traditional Japanese religion thing. And um, I'm so deeply interested in it and I've been so interested in it since I was super young um, and I've always researched it. And Amaterasu, who the character is that I'm drawing, um, is the sun goddess in Shintoism and she's got an awesome backstory so go check it out. Um, go and have a look at like Shintoism and stuff, I'll put some links in the description for you guys to go read um, and if you guys want to know any books that I might have read like just ask and I will uh, provide the information. Um, so, ah the kimono, um, what I did was uh, I masked off, so that sort of sky blue, light blue area is masking fluid from a pen and that pen came in scroller box and that's a spoiler for next week's video but that's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, so what I did was I wet the inside of her kimono and then just dripped ink on with a pipette or like we said earlier, some people <laughs> call it pipette. a pipette. Um, I say pipette. Um, Maxi says prepare, don't you? Mm -hmm. And so I just let the ink flow as naturally as possible and I picked colours that I wanted to represent sort of like a, a sunset sky. Also kind of like a landscape with the blue at the bottom um, because she's the sun goddess and I wanted it to look like her kimono is like the sun almost, if that makes sense. It's like um, she's channeling the sun. Yeah. Um, and for the kimono, um, I looked at designs for Oiren and um, Empress kimono rather than just Geisha or Yukata kimono. Um, so it's a little bit more, there's a lot more layers to it and it's a bit more, it's, it's meant to be more extravagant than sort of the traditional kimono you would see on a Geisha um, or a Maiko or anything you, if you've researched that you kind of know what i'm on about um but it's just something that's so deeply deeply interesting to me um i just i love all this sort of traditional japanese culture and um so i tried i tried to draw like a landscape on the kimono which is a popular thing that you see on patterns and um i didn't want to do too much detail because it was hard <laughs> <laughs> but it's also the the pattern on a kimono is also appropriate to the season and the time at which you're wearing it and I didn't want to do a pattern that would be considered incorrect so um, I stuck to just flowers and a, a small portion of landscape and I hope that that's okay <laughs> um, I hope I really hope so 
because I had so much fun with this ink. Um, you have no idea, just I'm gonna do this technique again with just like dripping the ink on. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it with other things. So you probably see that in the future. I really really like that um, the orange, like the sunset orangey yellow. Yeah, that was mixed by um, I have. As some of you, you know, like channel regulars know, I'm obsessed with dye mine inks and the three colours to get that kind of effect that Maxi just mentioned was um, Hope Pink, Wild Strawberry and Yellow. And I just sort of mixed them all and oh, it was so much fun. Mm. <laughs> I just enjoyed it and I just, I really liked the way the colours came out eventually, so yeah. <laughs> um, I used my Pentel aquash here with quartz black dye mine ink inside in the barrel which um, I've got a video on that um, about refilling brush pens with ink um, so go check that out if you want more information on that and here I'm just using Prismacolor Premier pencils um, which I got for free in a sketch box which was super unexpected um, but they're really nice actually they're super soft um, and it was instead of outlining this in black I think it gave a nicer soft outline I feel like if I'd outlined this in black I don't think it would have looked be quite harsh. yeah it was sort of um, detract away from the the hair and the, yeah um, the later brushwork that you end up doing yeah it's nice to have that strong butt line sort of kept to like limited area yeah but, uh, like like I said I think it would have blended in with the hair mm -hmm. I don't think it would have looked right Plus but... it, it would detract from the like the kimono like all the pattern all the, the color there. yeah I'm glad I didn't like I was going to that was my original plan but I'm glad I didn't in the end um, but yes yeah, so I used the aquash again for her face and I kept her hair uh, sorry her face white which is the same color as the paper um, but I did like I wanted to kind of make the yellow around her look like a tea stain almost I, I was so tempted to actually go and get some tea bags and do a tea stain but um, <laughs> I don't know how well that would have held up over time, mm. so um, I'll use like archival paper and ink instead. <laughs> um, it reminds me of doing like uh, history projects at school. Yeah. Like you'd always age the paper and like burn yeah. it at the edges and <laughs> um, like that. Here I'm practicing my really. I I'm just so new to this, I'm such a noob. Um, my Sumier painting, like with my brush and my ink. Um, I have a book that I'm learning from, but I, I didn't really study too much of it before I did this picture, which I should have done, I know, but um, I will be doing more of this to practice with. So yeah, I I just, uh, I hope you like it and I hope you like watching me do this and like my journey with uh, Sumio painting. Um, this is the second time we've recorded this as well. So yeah. last time I mentioned like, if you're new to my channel, um, this is the kind of stuff that I do want to do in the future. So if you've visited me from the um, Facebook page and you'd like to see more of this in the future, then just um, hit the subscribe button and I'd really like to see you on my videos. So just leave a comment uh, and welcome to my channel. Um, here's the bamboo, the dreaded bamboo <laughs> that I was like... She was bitching about this. Yeah. <laughs> I was just myself. like, that's fine. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I um, I was just so worried about it. Like, um, I don't know, because like I said, like I haven't practiced with the brushes enough, and I don't know. I just didn't get the shape that I wanted, and I was just a bit. Meh. But it's stuff that you can learn from. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because um, you've got to hold the brush in a really specific way, and it's got to be kind of dry. And you've got to have the right amount of tones, and it was just no. <laughs> I didn't approach it in the correct way, so it it probably didn't come out how it could have come out but have you mentioned the thing that you forgot to mention in the last video the original yeah yeah i've mentioned okay. that okay <laughs> that's why we started recording like, again <laughs> i know um yeah and then i use oro windsor newton gold ink oh man this oh, stuff this is stuff. like bottled fairy tears it is ridiculous it's, it's just absolutely incredible it's got like a life of its own when you move it around yeah. in the pot especially when you're mixing it and it's all solidified at the bottom and it's like you're actually mixing liquid gold it's it's just I love it so much but it just it settles very very quickly which is the only downside to it so if you are using it for an extended period like this it's like a little bit like oh I've got to mix it again um, which is fine like but I've heard a lot of people mention that 
um, about this particular ink. But ah, uh, yeah, mountains. I did some. Mountains. I really like how these mountains came out. Really, yeah. I wasn't too keen on them, but I really like um, like the dry brush effect. Yeah, like, you can see all the, the brush I, strokes. I think some of it was a bit too wet, and then I couldn't get the right balance. I think like I'll have to practice with that because the mountains were unplanned. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> secrets. Um, I think that's the majority of the picture. We're almost done, I can see on the little timer thing. Uh, oh, I added some white ink to sort of stand off the mountains from the yellow. And then, I can't remember what else. Oh yeah, the cherry blossoms. <laughs> yeah, we, I did the cherry blossoms in acrylic paint. Um, just mixed white and crimson, I think it was. Just standard acrylic, nothing special there. Um, and I did some on the branches, and I did some loose petals in a little bit, and you'll see Maxie's hand, because uh, you put <laughs> your own in. <laughs> cameo appearance, I did one petal that I was very, very, very proud of. Yep, and a thumbs up that... Oh man, yeah, well, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you proud of your thumbs up? Not very. <laughs> it, it was very awkward. <laughs> oh, um, it's only awkward though, because of the am amber of the Kangle. The amber of the Kangle. Yeah, the camera angle. <laughs> um, I actually have a new camera that I'm using, but obviously it's a little bit... Oh, here's Maxie's hand. <laughs> Woohoo! Do you like my nails, guys? I think, like, thumbs up for Maxie's nails. I was just like, yeah! <laughs> I was so delicate with it because I didn't want to, like, ruin this... <laughs> Can you imagine if you dropped the brush <laughs> on my face or something? <laughs> I'd, I'd have jumped out the window, honestly. And this is me trying to do a thumbs up, um, and I couldn't, I couldn't find out where to... <laughs> there we go, whatever. <laughs> I just gave up in the end. Um, I can't remember what I was talking the, about. That camera angle. New oh yes, cam. I have a new, a new, a new camera. Um, it's a HD webcam actually, and it's a lot better than I thought it would be. So I'm going to be using it for my videos. But as you can see, the angle's a little bit off. So please forgive me for that. I'm sorry. It's not come out as normal as it normally is. But I'm moving my desk anyway. Um, I'm going to have a new sort of work area where I do traditional media pieces. So. That's why everything's kind of a bit, I don't know, I'm waving my hands. Like, if you could see my hands, you'd know what I meant. But um, it's a little bit up in the air at the moment, I suppose. Like your hands. Like my hands are up in the air. <laughs> exactly, if you could see my hands, right? Um, and gesticulating. Yes. And that's the finished piece, guys. So thanks for watching. And like I said, the original is for sale. First come, first serve. And um, did I mention that it's for sale? I don't think we covered that. It is. For sale. <laughs> yes, we covered it this time. Last time we didn't. <laughs> but thank you for watching, everyone, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye, guys.